Hey Liam, come over here. We're getting tea on now. What's for dinner? Well, we're having that over there. This is yours. Is that it? Yeah. What's wrong with that? It's the sun, is it? <laughs> is that not good enough? No. No, okay. Better do something with some more substance then. Yeah, two cans. Okay, I'm just reading the instructions because uh, I'm doing a full Monty tonight. <laughs> not the, not the uh, undressing time, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Just seeing what I've got to do. I'm not used to this convenience food. This is uh, full Monty. Do you know what? I don't want to be bothered with that. Let's do some real food. Okay, baked beans. These are my homemade variety. You don't have to use a homemade variety. You can use the tin ones. Bacon, cooked. Sausages, cooked, chopped. Mushrooms. Jacket spuds, cooked. Eggs. That's all we need. We've got my nephew fishing with me tonight. We've got Luke, we've got Steve, we've got me. Let's get cooking. Okay, these are the baked beans. I'm just going to put these into the pan. These are done in portion bags for purposes of my cafe. And there's four of us tonight, so four bags of beans. Nice and easy. If you were doing it for yourself, maybe just get a tin of beans. And then that's all you're going to need with all the other bits. Okay, that's all our beans in there. This is all rubbish now. So the idea is now we need to get these warm. They're slightly icy at the moment because they've been frozen. We just need to get them warmed up. Dead easy. This is one of the easiest teas that can be done on the bank really. You can make it as conveniency or as simple as you like, but delicious. This is going to keep us going through the night. That pan's warming up really nicely now. Once we get these beans hot, then we'll get the rest of the ingredients thrown in. In the meantime, we're going to cut some mushrooms up and uh, it should all come together at once and uh, be really quick because although we've got the sunshine, we're going to lose light in about, uh, let me see, well, less than an hour. So it'd be nice to eat in daylight, really, wouldn't it? It's beautiful at sheer water today. Arrived in the pouring rain and it stopped, the sun's come out. Perfect time for making tea. Not as much fun cooking in the busy. There we go, we're rocking and rolling. Just going to literally carve some mushrooms into there. Nothing like some Dorset mushrooms. These will just cook in the juice of the beans, so nice and easy. It's the first time we've been fishing with my nephew, this is uh, quite fun. Luke's really pleased to have him here. He's got his little box of dog puppy as well, so Elvie and uh, Rocky are uh, getting on like a house on fire down there. They'll wear each other out for sleep for the night. Okay, we've got plenty of mushrooms in there, but if you remember, not only when they cook, um, they'll shrink down by half the size nearly, but also they'll re reduce, release liquid into the beans. Um, normally I probably would have looked to thin the beans down a bit, but when the mushrooms start steaming open, uh, they will release li liquid, which will have a lovely flavour in it. I can't believe how beautiful it is here now. 
Honestly, when we arrived, it was pouring with rain. We were putting the bivvies out in the rain and trying to set up with waterproofs and things on. And then suddenly the sky cleared and it was absolutely gorgeous. And it stayed that way, so I seized the moment. Thought, I'm going to get tea on. I haven't even got my rods out yet. Just going to get this heated up a bit, get those mushrooms steaming. As I say, they'll release some juices, which will thin down the beans a bit. Um, at that point, I'll monitor to see if I need to add any more water just to thin it down and make it a bit more juicy so we'll see in a minute shouldn't take long we'll whack a lid on it and um, let it do its thing okay we've got some steam going on that's always a good sign mushrooms are starting to cook and they're releasing some liquid now which is exactly what I was looking for at this point now I'm going to start adding some more ingredients. Well, I've got bacon that I cooked this morning and then I've just roughly chopped it into big chunky bits. So that's going in. I've got lovely Dorset made sausages cut into bits, cooked, so it won't take long to heat up. That's going in. Look at that. Is that the way forward or what? Right, because of the texture of the sauce, I'm now going to add some water into this. God, they taste good. We're going to add some water into that to try and make it a bit more saucy overall. So I'm going to go and get some water now. Okay, a bit of water going in here. This is just going to make the sauce more of a bit of a consistency. That should do it. That's better. Right, smelling good from where I'm standing. We've got a nice bubbling tea going on here. We've got lumps of sausage and mushroom. We've got, I'm trying to dig out a piece of bacon. We've got the baked beans. And that's, um, that's a meal that's gonna really, you know, keep us going to the morning when we'll um, have breakfast out in this cold weather. And you know the temperature drops right back when we stop still and we need nourishment. It's pretty damn full of fibre as well, so we're looking good. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I've got a couple of baked potatoes that were in the fridge. I'm just going to use them up. Again, it just bulks out the, uh, the dish and it'll spread it between more people. So I'm just going to cut those up roughly. Just a question of stirring that in and getting that hot. If you put the potato in early it will break up so uh, you don't want to do that too soon. You want to make sure the bacon and the sausage is really hot. So as you can see we've gone from having a few baked beans in the pan to um, quite a substantial pan full of food for the four of us so uh, it's looking good. And then uh, the only next thing I'm going to do is we've got this stonking hot. Um, I've got some eggs. Now you could just use um, chicken eggs which would not be a problem at all and because uh, what I'll do is just press everything down and then crack an egg on the top or four eggs, one each um, just to be a bit different I got given some quail's eggs so I'm, I'm going to use those tonight uh, they'll cook quicker but chicken eggs, duck eggs, goose eggs if you're really hungry uh, all perfectly acceptable and would work and then we'll put the lid on and steam, steam them until they're set so uh, we're very close to getting this ready now and um, the sun has set now actually so We've probably only got um, half an hour of light really. The uh, bivvy's all set up over here and um, the rods are now out. So while this has been bubbling away slowly, um, everything's been taking place. So uh, get some food down us and uh, get ready for dark because we're a bit... One thing about uh, fishing in the evening is you're open to the elements. So uh, you kind of go with the weather and tend to go to sleep that much earlier and everything. So, um, but, yeah, this is, this is it. I've got a little helper come look. Meet Rocky. <laughs> Say hello Rocky, come here. Oh, he's gone again. He smelled food. <laughs>
Right, let's just steam that potato till it's hot and um, we're going to eat then. Okay, as you can see here, everything's piping hot. Just going to now crack some eggs over. Make a little indentation. There we go. I want to turn the heat right down at this point. Lowest I can get to it. There we go. As I said before, you could use chicken eggs or duck eggs, goose eggs, you know, whichever ones you've got. Um, that would be no problem. I'm just going to put the lid on this and all that happened now is the heat will steam up and cook those eggs. And it's just eggs are really nice on this dish. So uh, just going to wait for that to happen now. Right, as you can see, the eggs are starting to cook now. If you can just make out the white setting off. I've got the white setting, look. But we shouldn't be long. Okay, just going to show you what we've got going on here. <coughs> These lovely little set poached eggs. This signifies that dinner's ready. The light's really failing on us now, so I'm going to serve up. I'm ready for this, and I'm sure the boys are too. My version of the full Monty, cooking and carping. Right, let's get dinner served up. Mm, that looks nice, Mum. That's done that. That'll keep us warm for the night, won't it? Mm. Wow, look at that. There we go, and I've brought you a special little cheesy whirly gig to have with yours. Look at that. Thanks, Mum. There you are. You know some cutlery? There we go. Four hungry fishermen and women. We're going to eat. Can't wait.